Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you all so much for tuning in to this new series on the channel. It is the Town Hall 11 Let's Play, and we're using Archimedes, the uh, Town Hall 10 from Fix That Rush, except now Archimedes is a Town Hall 11. But guys, if you saw Fix That Rush, or if you, if you haven't, actually more if you haven't seen Fix That Rush, then I'll put a link somewhere, or maybe it'll be the end screen box video. You can check out what Fix That Rush is is if you haven't seen it to see where we came from because guys this account which was a max town hall 11 or 10 you know at the end of the uh max at rush series except for the dark elixir drills okay i know somebody's going to call me out on that no i did not upgrade the new dark elixir drills to level 7 because i just simply didn't want to but everything else was max all right everything else was max so we have a lot of work to do as a brand new town hall 11 and that's what today is all about today's about figuring out what should somebody do on their first day as a Town Hall 11? You can see I've got max loot, 9 million golden elixir, uh, almost 200,000 dark elixir. I've also got a completely max full treasury. Well, I gained a little bit of treasure and I've lost a little bit for defenses and things. Uh, so I've got a ton of loot to spend today. And I did not plan ahead, guys. I, I did not go into my progress base and adjust and move things. That will have to be episode two when I show you guys what happened there. So basically today is all about the new stuff. All right. What do we get that is new? And that's that's obviously something really, really important. But there's also a few upgrades on your base. Yes, it's Black Friday, by the way. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff that's you get new. So like Grand Warden is a great example. You also get several new defenses. That includes 50 new or 20 25 new walls, plus you get the Eagle Artillery, um, and then you get the Tornado Trap, but you also get super, super important upgrades for things on your base, and if you click this little button here, it will show you the cheapest things to upgrade, but you don't necessarily need to do that at the very beginning. What you need to do, day one, absolutely first, is upgrade the Laboratory. That is always, always, always going to be the first priority for you because the laboratory leads to stronger troops and stronger troops lead to better attacking. So we want to be best, the, the best attackers that we can be. And that all comes down to your troops. Also your heroes, obviously you've got to have good, strong heroes, but we'll talk about their, that here in a moment. First, Let's upgrade this laboratory. So going to level nine, very first priority in three, two, one, bam. Okay, and I've actually got a book of fighting or a book of building here, as you can see, but I don't want to use the book of building on this because I don't really, I'm not going to have the loot to do something in the laboratory today, like a new troop or whatever. Although I think I might have a book of fighting. Um, I do. And I have a dark, ooh, I have a dark elixir. Whoa, I have a dark elixir rune. Okay, I might actually spend my book of building on my laboratory. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about it in a moment. But next, top priority is going to be getting the Grand Warden. But you could say I don't have enough elixir. Six million elixir is what you need to get the Grand Warden. I've only got three million. But hey, like I said, I've got plenty of loot in my treasury. I'll go ahead and collect that loot uh, because, frankly, I'm going to have to do that actually two more times to get the gold or the dark elixir. I might wait for a little bit, but I want to do this in order to keep it very plain and simple and clear for you guys who may be starting your tunnel 11. And this is why you found this series. Or if you're just a subscriber and watching, I still want to do things in order. So let's do, let's get the grand warden. He just changes the way attacks go guys. He's a beast. I need to find a town hall 11 base that will probably have to be another um another video as well but i'm gonna put him out here for now so there you go now we've got the grand warden um he's a beast and uh, the next upgrade for him is only 2.5 million elixir so it's a lot cheaper okay it's a lot cheaper um but for now that's where he's gonna be i'll move this and put him across here and i'll just found i'll eventually i'll find a town hall 11 base and copy it or we'll build something or whatever so that's all the elixir okay but all of the new buildings that are left i believe are gold we got all the new walls we got the new cannon archer tower wizard tower x bow and eagle artillery we'll definitely be prioritizing that obviously we're going to prioritize this tornado trap as well but notice all the new buildings are gold so before we get into the gold and the dark elixir let's talk about any other major elixir upgrades like the gold storage okay 2.5 million elixir per gold storage is four so that's 10 million loot and I believe, let me see, it increases it by 250,000. Yep, so that means that our total gold storage would end up being 10 million gold. And if I remember right, and I didn't do any research, so I might be wrong here. Nope, we need 10 million gold to upgrade our clan castle. And the major change 
for this clan castle upgrade is not that you get to hold more troops, but because then you can hold a second uh, spell capacity. So before at tunnel 10, you can only get dark spells, like dark elixir spells and a free spell, because those are one capacity. But if you upgrade the clan castle and max it, then you can then start bringing raid spells or heals or jumps or whatever it is that you want to bring. It is absolutely incredible, guys. So definitely want to be thinking about doing that as soon as possible. Another thing to consider is the army camps. That's also 9 million elixir. We need a lot of elixir. All, all new tunnel levels need a lot of elixir, but especially tunnel 11. 11 days and 16 hours per army camp. That is stupid. Why is it that? Why isn't it just 12? That's stupid. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we're going to have to upgrade all four of those camps. Also, we're going to want to upgrade our barracks, all four barracks. That's 4, 8, 12, 16 million elixir to unlock the electro dragons. That's not a huge priority, by the way, uh, but it is something to consider. Also, the dark barracks, they don't get an upgrade. You don't have to think about the dark barracks. What about the spell factory? Let me think real quick. Where is... Where is the spell? Help, help me out. There we go. Nope. Spell factory does not get an upgrade. Awesome. And then the last thing is the dark spell factory. Can I even, can I see it? Do you guys see it? Am, am I, am I, where is my dark spell factory? Dude, I sat there staring forever before I found that. Oh my goodness. Okay. I found it. It does not get an upgrade. So that's the major Elixir upgrades. Um, I'm sure there's a few other ones that I might have missed, like maybe these Dark Elixir drills going to max is six million a piece. That's not a huge priority right now, although free Dark Elixir is kind of a big deal. Also, upgrading the Dark Elixir storage, that doesn't happen until Tunnel 12. So that's most of the Elixir upgrades. So we don't have any Elixir left, so we can't do any of them. Now we get to focus on gold and Dark Elixir. So now let's get a few of the new gold things. Uh, mostly, we're going to start with the walls. All right, let's get the walls. That is a uh, Kind of a big deal. And actually, hold on. Let me move you up here. That way I can be a bit more organized. Guys, by the way, there's a lot of people out there that suggest that you delay getting the new walls and the new defenses and stuff. I think that is... Um, and that used to be super, super popular, but it's no longer a necessity, all right? You, you can get your new stuff. You can get that Eagle Artillery because that Eagle Artillery is super, super helpful for you in your defense. So let me see, uh, do we have any free, like that's a 10 second upgrade. We'll go ahead and do that cannon. There we go, we'll get that. We're also going to get the new Archer Tower because that's only one minute, thank you. Let's also get the, okay, that's an eight hour, four and a half day and seven day. Okay, we don't, we're not gonna worry about that right now, but we're definitely gonna be getting those new defenses as soon as possible. Also, this is a tornado trap, it's a zero second Time. I love it. That's awesome. Let's upgrade that. And then I think the tornado trap goes level two at tunnel 11. Yep. So that's going to be a top priority too, because the tornado trap is beast. All right. Those extra two seconds is incredibly valuable for your base. We'll probably be doing that, but I'm not sure about today. So I think that goes, I think that's all of the, oh, oh I need to spend a little bit more so that I, if I collect my gold now, it's not going to get all of it. So let's go in and let's take out, let's get this wizard tower now. That's going to be an eight hour upgrade. So that actually pretty much that solidifies one builder. Um, and we can't, we're not going to be able to use it. Oh, I've got builder boost. That's awesome. So now I've got two. No, that one's almost done. So I've got still three builders done. I'm going to go ahead and collect my gold here. All right, let's go ahead and collect all that gold. Now we're maxed out our gold storage again. All right, let's get the expo. You know what? Let's just get all the new defenses. I think that's a great way to spend our time right now. There you go. And finally, so day one. Oh, I don't have enough. What? No, 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 no. Don't tell me this. Don't tell. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Don't tell me I just made a mistake here. Oh, I made a mistake. I need seven point. Oh, I've remembered. Star bonus events. All right, we're definitely going to be getting enough loot to get that Eagle Artillery today. That is how you start Town Hall 11. You get all the new defenses. So all we now need, as far as new stuff for Town Hall 11, is the Eagle Artillery. Everything else has been gotten. And all this is just, yeah, no, we don't need any of that. All right, so now Dark Elixir, okay? Dark Elixir is another big thing. What am I doing? Oh, I've got 18,000 plus 200,000. So that means that let's go ahead and let's upgrade this queen. We're going to use all this Dark Elixir now. I've got a book of heroes. I need to use it because A, I, I have a Dark Elixir rune that we might be able to use, which would be sweet. But also I uh, have a lot in my treasury I want to collect. So let's do this guys in three, two, one, bam. And then book of heroes. And then there you go. 41 out of 50. So we have nine more hero upgrades for the queen. I like the Town Hall 11 hero grind. It's a lot easier than like Town Hall uh, Tunnel 9, which has 30 queen upgrades. 
And now let's collect this treasury. There we go. And that is 38,000 Dark Elixir. So now we're pretty much to a point to where we can start thinking about maybe going and doing some raids. I know that took a long time, but you need to be set up and ready to go whenever you are doing, uh, whenever you're starting up a, uh, like a, a new town hall level, you want to make sure that you use your loot. Obviously, you got to fill your storages before you, you know, go to the next town eleven, so you can start doing some new and great upgrades. So there we go. Who's your daddy? Thank you for the troops, my man. So now let's go get some loot. Um, and I, I'm using an army right now that is extremely cheap because it is the 99 percent discount for Black Friday and all that. So Supercell really made this easy for me in choosing an army because it's a super strong army. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to attack just any old base. I've got to find a good base worth good loot as our first attack as a Town Hall 11 uh, with my level one Grand Warden and everything. So I'll be right back once I find that perfect base. I'm so used to being a Town Hall 10 um, that it might never give me a really good choice for a base to hit. But I'll be right back once I find that perfect base and we're going to use, okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow, 688,000 gold, or 668,000 gold, 5,800 Dark Elixir, this is beautiful, guys, this is great, all right, so let's, um, let's attack from the, um, I'm gonna attack from the bot, no, I'm gonna attack from the top, because I want to make sure I get that queen, I also want to make sure that I lure that CC, actually, you know what, I can lure the CC with one archer, Okay, there was no CC troops. That, is e that makes it easy. I, I love whenever they have these openings right there. That's just great. I just love it. All right, so let's go in from the top side to get the queen. So let's start with the wall wrecker. I'm going to also start the funnel out here. I'll get a couple of wizards, get a couple of wizards, get the golem in there too. Uh, king, queen, let's go Valkyries and the enemy queen. There we go. And I think, oh, warden, warden, go buddy. All right, so things are looking good so far. I'm going to get that raid spell in there because that war, uh, wall wreck is about to explode. Nice. And I think, yeah, I've got bowlers in there. Oh, the bowl. Wow, the wall wreckers survived longer than I expected. Oh, that's multi targeting. For some reason, I thought I was getting hit by single targeting infernos and everything was just going to go bad quick. But it's okay. You know, this entire side of the base has been cleared. So we're doing okay. I'm going to send in my, my hogs from up here because that's where the queen is. Also, let's pop that queen's ability now that we have sent in the hogs the queen actually may survive the entire raid which would be amazing nope stupid inferno is going to kill our our queen bummer all right well let's start the clean up on the top i've got my heal spells let's heal up here i don't know if it's gonna if our hogs are gonna survive guys i really hope they do that'd be so cool to uh, three star this attack or this base but oh look the queen survived oh my goodness she walked out of the range of that multi-targeting inferno and survived that was amazing, guys. I don't know if they're going to survive the rest of this base. I don't know if we're going to three-star, but we've already got the two-star, and that's actually what's going to give us the um, the, the star bonus. We needed two stars for that, so that, that actually works out. Unfortunately, the queen did die, um, but these wizards are going to also die. Giant bomb! Who puts giant bombs on the outside of their bases? I know people who are trying to defend against Bow Witch and War, but why would you do that in multiplayer? I don't know. Nobody attacks with Bowwitch in multiplayer. If they are, they're wasting all of their Dark Elixir. Either way. Okay, so we got the two stars. So we're going to get an incredible star bonus. And that attack was amazing. Half a million, over half a million gold and elixir. And over 5,700 Dark Elixir too. Beautiful loot, guys. Beautiful loot. And yep, there you go. That was, that was nice. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to be able to collect 2.9 million. I've already maxed out my gold again. And I've got another star bonus. Life life is good, guys. Life is good. So I guess what we'll do is, since I've already maxed out my gold, I should probably, like, spend a little bit of it. How do I how do I spend it? I've got one builder left. Oh, man, that's... Okay, I got two builders left. So I could technically get that Eagle Artillery now. You guys down for that? You guys down for getting that? the the e e eagle artillery now i say we do that i say we go for it and get them all done that means that way i can get a base and it can be established for the rest of the series all right so let's do this guys let's get this eagle artillery in three two one bam now i'm a proper town hall 11 though it'll be seven days it'll be a week before it actually wakes up and is is actually able to do eagle artillery things which means shooting bombs up in the air or whatever it is that they do so there you go now the treasure has been emptied out 
and I get to maybe attack again. Do I get to request for CC again? Nope, six minutes. I got one one giant. That You know what? That one giant's OP. We're going to go in and we're going to do another attack just to get a little bit more loot. I'm going to try to find a base that will be doable without a wall wrecker. That's going to be really, really tough, guys. Um, but it's worth it. So I'll be right back, hopefully, with, you know, like a dead town hall 10 or something. Should we hit a base... For 467,000 elixir. Yes, we should. Um, <laughs> look at this, guys. It's a, a dead 11. Um, it doesn't have a lot of gold or dark elixir. So, you know, but I need elixir. Like, elixir is seriously so, so valuable at the beginning of any new town level. I've already said that, but I'm going to say it again. So, let's um, let's take out this base. And all, most of the loot, most of the elixir actually is up here. Uh, but there's a couple of, like, max... Not max, full non-max collectors over here too. So we kind of need to like three-star the base, actually. Um, I'm going to try to. I'm going to, uh, gosh, I don't know. It's going to be super easy to snipe this loot out here. I feel like I should snipe this loot and then I should come in from the other side. I think that's what I'm going to try to do here. So let's go baby dragon out here. Let's go, um, I don't know. Let's go Valkyrie. Baby dragon's going to be a problem. Let's actually poison. I'll throw down a Valkyrie over here. Let's wizard that. And then that should be all the elixir, right? Yeah, there we go. Sweet. So that's all the elixir on that side. So I think all the rest is over here. So now I can actually start the attack. So let's go golem. Let's try to use a couple of wizards. Get the funnel. There we go. Once that funnel's established, we'll send in our Valkyries to try to break it. I don't need wall breakers because I'm used to using wall wreckers. Uh, which is not great, but it is what it is. So let's go Valkyries in. Let's go Bowlers in. And I've got a CC Giant. We'll go ahead and send that one in too. There we go. And I would love to just get that Elixir out of there. Hopefully it will work. Valkyries, you okay? Are you going to make it? Cool. We got that Elixir. And now let's go Hogs. All right, let's go Hogs hard in from the side. This is good, guys. This is working. Oh, and I've only got heal spells. I would have normally dropped a Rage at this point. That's hilarious. All right, so the heal is in, and I've almost got all the Elixir already. Let's get that Archer down there to start picking off some stuff. Those bowlers are not doing the greatest, but it's a bomb tower, so I'll go ahead and drop a heal over here for that. And now it looks good. This one little Archer over here is going to grab the last of the Elixir this base has to offer. Um, I'll drop a Poison on this King just so he doesn't kill my Hogs. I'm going to heal these Hogs. And I will heal. Oh, I forgot this queen was still alive. I should have I should have dropped the poison on the queen. Queen does a lot more output, like damage, I think. So it would have been smarter, I think, to poison the queen. But that's all right. I'm not really trying to triple this base, although it would be kind of cool to get the town hall. So if I got a two-star, that would be fantastic. But it is all good if I don't at this point. I think it's going to be all about, like, bowler bounces and stuff. Oh, man. There's no way I'm going to triple this base, guys. Ah! I don't think I even have what it takes. I don't have what I need to triple the base. Because um, watch, this bowler, like once this bowler takes out this clan castle, he's probably going to try to break in through the wall and we don't have the time to get this town hall. If that's what he tries to do, I'm probably going to close the attack here. Nope, he's going to go around and get shot by a Tesla. Oh, wait, oh, oh, yes. W wait, what? No, what are you doing? Why did he throw one... Why did you throw one rock and then and then leave? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And then this little archer. Good try, girl. Good try. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and close the attack. Good try. You guys did great. Tons of elixir. And without loot bonus, over 600,000 elixir. Bam, baby. I like it. I like it a lot. And that is all the uh, armies that I had trained up, by the way. I'm completely done with my armies. And I've got one builder. So now... We have some decisions to make. And I was about to say, let's pop over to my progress base. But again, I said I would organize my progress base for the new Town Hall 11 next time. So be looking forward to that. So now we just need to spend a little bit more loot. Um, like I said, I've got a rune of Dark Elixir I could spend. I, I kind of think I should. But I also think that I'm not quite ready for that. Um, I, I want to use everything to its highest capacity. Right now, I've got 57,000 Dark Elixir. So if I used it now, I would basically be wasting 57,000 Dark Elixir. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hold on to that. Um, I do have um, I have a, several other things, but I don't think I need to use it all right now. I think that we're in a good place to possibly upgrade something. Um, let's upgrade a a gold storage. And here, remember what I said, we need to upgrade the gold storages because if we do, then we'll be able to upgrade the clan castle early and that uh, clan castle upgrade is absolutely clutch, guys. So let's upgrade this gold storage. This is a four day upgrade, two and a half million elixir. That's totally fine. 
Um, and we're going to try to get all four of those gold storages upgraded as soon as possible. And obviously the elixir upgrades too. But uh, as you can see, we don't necessarily need to right off the bat. So let's do this guys in three, two, one, bam. And actually, as I was saying, I don't think I need to upgrade the army camps or I'm sorry, the elixir storages. I think I might need to actually. Nope. Okay. I can hold it nine. So there's no, there's no buildings that I need to upgrade the elixir storages for right now, but eventually I will. I will need nine plus million elixir for like um, Grand Warden level 15 or something, you know? So it, I have time. I don't necessarily need to upgrade the elixir storages right now, um, but I definitely need to upgrade the gold storages right now. And I will eventually do them all. Um, but guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. I mean, I'm out of builders, I'm out of loot. I've got a, you know, a little bit of all the loot, but I don't have, you know, a lot of extra loot right now. Um, I've used all five builders. The first builder that's going to come available is from this new wizard tower. Yes, all new buildings are in. That's super exciting. And I cannot wait to grind out Town Hall 11. I think that I've started out really, really well, especially because I don't know what else I need. I remember I did get the tornado trap. So we got all the new stuff for Town Hall 11. I've got to find a base design, build it, and set up my progress base to see if I'm missing anything. I don't think so. I think we're good. I think I prioritized everything elixir wise as best as I possibly could. So guys, that is going to do it for me today in this episode of Town Hall 11 Let's Play episode one. Don't worry, there's going to be more action and less talking in the future. But obviously, episode one is always really information heavy. So be sure and rewatch this video if you need to for extra information. And obviously, like this video if you liked it. Share this video with your clan mates or your friends or family, or whoever plays Clash of Clans and needs information for Town Hall 11. Also, I have a Town Hall 11 upgrade guide in my upgrade guides playlist so be sure and check that out and if you have not already it might help you out i probably should watch it i probably should have watched it before i started recording but it's it's all good it's all good um and last but not least guys be sure and hit that subscribe button join the class family for daily gaming videos remember guys that i love each and every one of you and i'm so looking forward to grinding tunnel 11 um it's gonna be so so worth it again i love each and every one of you and i'll see you all again next time.